Okay, so I'm doing the armor of God, and I know that some of these, some people stress on a lot that one thing is more important than the other or something, but to me, this one is kind of, mm, sort of, I guess maybe not the most important, but I think it just hit me harder than others when I was doing it earlier. And it literally took me an entire page. So, okay. So the shoes. Shoes for your feet of readiness. I like to think boots versus flip-flops, okay? And this is this is how I broke it down. And then I'll talk to you about how what God says and stuff. Um, okay, so flip-flops. They're open. They're easy to break or lose them and they're unattached in the back and there's no heel strap for most of them um they're less than supportive let's be real um no ankle coverage or at the top there's no coverage for your feet so everything's happening to your feet in these flip-flops okay um they're mostly made with cheap material or they're wimpy and um your feet can get wet and hurt and messy and sore. I'm fighting with my kid. She has to come in here when I'm doing this. Sorry. I'll be quiet. Okay. So your feet get hurt, wet, messy, sore. They have issues because, let's face it, flip-flops are not the best thing for your feet. But we wear them anyway. And shoes for the feet of readiness. I would think that I understand the back in the Bible that they pretty much just had sandals and flip-flops sort of type things. They didn't really have boots, but follow me here. So I go back to the whole think boots, not flip-flops for the whole body of armor. Because when you're going into war, I personally would want boots on my feet because they cover your feet. They're tall. It covers the heels. It's strong and durable. They're more expensive, but they're built better to last. They're waterproofed sometimes, most of the time. They protect the feet from the water, injury, and mess. So, flip-flops to boots. Um, definitely want boots. Now, kind of going personal a little bit. Anybody knows me? I have these one pair of flip-flops that, girl, I don't know why I... I I don't even understand y'all why I still got them because I probably shouldn't have them because I'm always walking through doorways and breaking my my toes and getting my shoes messed up and to fall down and all this other mess. But my grandpa gave them to me, my dad's dad, and they're my favorite shoes. I wear them all the time. It could be snowing and I'm allergic to the cold and I still will wear the flip-flops. Anyhow, so... But if I'm going to battle, I'm not going to wear flip-flops, obviously, because they're not as good. When when you want to get something done and you got to do something that's going to be hard and difficult, you want to put on them boots. Even I do that. Like when we were moving mom and dad or if I'm in the backyard digging or something like that, definitely have to put on boots instead of flip-flops. But to be ready for battle, you need boots, not flip-flops. Or bare feet. Um, going back to the whole thing of the Bible when this was written. Um, back in the day, they told them that to put on their shoes. And they pretty much just had like sandals and flip-flops. Which uh, when they went to battle, the sandals and flip-flops was a whole lot better than bare feet. Um, they The boots or the sandals in the Bible time would help you to stand firmer, dig in, stand strong, and be sure of your stance so you can stay hard in the ground. Because when you're fighting, I mean, you're standing there and you're real strong and stiff and you can't be swayed. When you're barefoot, um, you slide around and you don't have any real way to hold on to anything if something comes at you. Because remember, it's not just shoes. You're at war. You're at a battle. So you're running, you're jumping, you're you're trying to get away from things. 
things are at you on you you're trying to get away you need something good to be able to hold on to you while you try to, to fight and do what you need to do um shoes in the bible shoes in the bible where they lived were made with non-processed leather dry grass strings and rope definitely not like the shoes and sandals we have today but it was definitely better than bare feet Shoes have hold you up for a long time because battles are not short. And standing a long time, running a long time, crouching or anything like that, you need support. You need your shoe to hold you and to help you out because um, if you stand for a long time, like if you're at work or if you're outside or if you're at school and your feet start to hurt, um, it might be your shoes. Or if you're barefoot, you definitely can tell the difference. You don't want to be walking around, running on gravel and concrete and blacktop and stuff like that in your bare feet. That hurts. But in your war, you're probably going to come across that stuff. And again, this was written in the Bible. So you have to go back to then. And you have to think about how the ground was and where they would be um, coming together to be doing these wars. Um... Shoes are important for perseverance, and perseverance is to do something despite the difficulty and delay of, of achieving success or not. So shoes will be helping you to stand there and deal with it and, and see if you're going to make it or not. Because let's be honest, you're not going to win every battle. But you need the perseverance to stand your ground, even if you're standing alone, to see if you're going to be able to, to win or not. And if you're tired, wimpy, and sore, and you're having issues, and you bail, how are you going to ever know if you made it? You might have made it if you would have persevered and lasted longer. Now, I'm not saying that to dog anybody or come at anybody at all. I'm just saying for my own self, I have a lot of times... Where I want to sit down. I want to stop. And I know that I just. Five more minutes. Ten more minutes. Keep going. I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. And I'm like no I can't. I need to sit down. But I would never know if I would have made it. Or not. If I just would have kept going just a little longer. So to me. Shoes for readiness. Are super important. Because. It goes to the next part that we are going to be talking about gospel of peace. Because without the shoes of readiness, you will not be able to have gospel of peace. And I hope that you keep following my silly videos of this and get to see what gospel of peace is next. Thanks.